What is happening, guys? Welcome on back. Let's continue the uh, spooky adventures. So, it's daytime, which is good. Bullet buddy. Now I'm really losing it this time, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Yeah, it's just taking the piss out of you, isn't it? Come here, boy. Well, you know what? Here, let me, uh, let's, uh, let's pet the doggo, because everyone good likes dog. a doggo pet. We're gonna have him seek. Okay, seek. See what he can find. I mean, during daytime, I'm, I'm assuming these things can't come out during the day. Nothing there, huh? Because if they hate the flashlight, I'd assume they also hate daylight. Well, or just teleport over there. Stay close, bullet. What's this? Calling to, huh? I don't know, really. I've been thinking about us a lot lately. Tell me when you can. Bye. Shit. Jess. Isn't it a bit early for you? Um, no. Why would it be? You don't want to talk? No, no, no. It's it's good to hear your voice. Listen, I'm sorry about before. Seems all I do is apologize, and then I say something stupid again. Yeah, and I keep coming back for more. I guess I'm a glutton for punishment. It's like we're trapped in a never-ending cycle of bullshit. A perpetual bullshit machine. If they should hook us up to the grid, we could probably power up a small city. <laughs> hey, as long as we're getting paid. <sighs> we were good for a while, weren't we? It's dialogue, yeah. man. This <laughs> is dialogue. So, what happened? Uh, I don't know, Ellis. Life. Life happened. Yeah. Mine more than yours. Yeah, yeah. I better get to it. I'll call you later, okay? I'll hold you to it. Emmett, I know you're there. Please, answer me. Nothing from him. So I think this is the same... Well, stay, stay, stay! <laughs> Freezing. It's the same. Bullet. Bullet. I'll go. Do not make me cross this water and then leave me. You need. Stick close to me. You stay close. So we're going into the creepy woods. Why is it that in creepy situations like this, the person never brings a weapon, you know? No gun, no survival knife, n nothing. Or not even a baseball bat. Both have a scent. Nail. One's barefoot. Smoker, huh? Well, if I don't get you, they sure will. Especially if this guy's an ex-cop, you would figure he would... Own a what fire. Is What'd you find? All right, good boy, good boy. Can I move aside. Oh. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay, buddy. I don't like it either. Just let me take a look, and we'll be on. Jesus Christ! Fuck. Is that? Damn it. Have 
were just... I, I don't understand. Ooh. Oh, God. Fuck. Dude looks like he was, uh... Landing. Oh, God. The killer... Oh, skinned his face. Clean cuts. That is not. Post nothing about that is clean. Lenning's badge. Oh, no one deserved it more than him. Neck wound. Deep. And his head is... Oh, God, it's barely hanging on. Lenning was tough. Experienced. He wouldn't let a killer surprise him. It had to be a photo. What the hell? Another one of those creepy photos. Come here, boy. Tape, isn't it? You see anything? Not in this club. Who's this guy that he was just walking around with? What were you doing here, Sheriff? This is no longer just a missing person case. Come on, Bullet. We gotta finish this. For Peter and for Lanning. Um, how do I... And it was a... So it only brings back objects, not things that were alive. Oh, you got nothing? Aside from killing him, the only other thing is the shovel. Sheriff Emmett Lanning. The guy who cared about everything and everyone. Even me. We really saw eye to eye, but... Gave up. But not even after I let him down. Rest easy, Emma. And I'll find the man who did this. Shush, 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 shush. It's okay, buddy. Everything's okay. What's that? I hear it. This thing looks like it's something you're supposed to trip on. They're idle. disrespects and shows contempt for national symbols or military service and the patriotic soldiers once had the honor of serving with. This crazy guy who's out here was discharged, I guess. Come here. Stay close, bullet. Under the spooky, foggy swamp we go. Wait, what? Where'd all the water go? 
this really the right way back? Either I'm going crazy or... Come on, dude. This is where we're going to run into? No. No. No, this is terrible. Why would you? Oh, my God, man. This guy does not belong in the woods. No, not now. Come on, work. Has a PTSD episode and then thinks he's in a war and then he runs into a barrow. Wait, this is, yeah, this is exactly where you want to run. Where you're going, boy. The view's a little weird in here. It almost feels like we're on, like, a fisheye lens. Bullet, where are you? Weird. It's definitely man-made. Ian? What is it? I don't I don't know what to do. I can't I can't like see anything. That's so we're just gonna push in a direction and get spooked by something. Bullet. I mean something is inevitably going to jump on my face here. Right, there we go, lights back. Weird. Where are you, buddy? Where's that shit? Whoa! Oh my god. Be down here. Another one. I wonder who those people are. It's like a negative or something. You can't even really see the picture. Bullet. Oh, that sounds nice. Crazy guy up ahead. My only defense is uh, hitting him with a flashlight. I don't know how this guy's stuck. Just push yourself up, dude. Come on. Come on Just wiggle out. Oh, yeah, it's not like you're guy. spelunking. Jesus. Actually, I almost got stuck on spelunking, which is it's, it's like crawling through caves. Um, really cool stuff, but you know, it's like you, you suit up in like a, a jumpsuit. You have a helmet. You have a light on your helmet, and you. You're essentially allowed to explore caves. And, like, you know, typically it's like walking tours. Um, but one of the assistant scoutmasters 
knew one of the guys who like did it professionally and so this guy was on board with a bunch of kids spelunking through this cave like way I'm talking way down into the cave one new voice message I don't think I had a signal but um All history. Uh, message, phone book. Also. Well, let's listen to this first, and I'll continue the spelunking story. You have one new message. Sierra, Hotel, Echo, Inferno, Slaughter, S H E I S H. Okay, it's nice. But yeah, so we were going all the way down, and there was a uh, one little path. It was small, like it was like a crawl thing. This was obviously I was much smaller. I was not, you know, six one two fifty when I did this. I was like, oh, what's there? And the guys like, oh, it's a, it's a new passage we found recently. We haven't gone exploring in it. So my young dumbass is like, I'm gonna go! So I wiggle my ass into this hole and uh, got all the way through and it was like uh, a little tiny room that opened up at the very end of it. Um, but on my way back out of it, I, I got stuck essentially. And what I had to do to get through was actually like, I just wiggle back out at the, had to take off my, my, uh, my little backpack take off my helmet and essentially record, like, put my bag what in the, the helmet happened you responded to a robbery. push the helmet and like you got worm there crawl you after saw them to get the store you took out your gun you told them to stop the kid reached for something was it a weapon no and then what happened? well you know what happened this is on me yeah, definitely like a, a semi-terrifying experience Shane, being peter's brother i don't know what i was thinking Stuck. Was the last person he'd want Even to for see. 30 seconds. For all I knew, I could have crippled him for life. And yet, I felt there was something I had to do. Had to. I couldn't. This guy has some major PTSD. Keep seeing that the eyes pop up like that. Another thing, I probably look a little bit redder. Um, I essentially turned down the backlight a little, a little because some people were saying that having the, the backlight at its uh, normal brightness, which... Yeah, how typically, do we uh, back here? typically I keep it here, but you were being like, oh, you're, you're too bright for the spooky game. So lower the backlight. But anyway, yeah, so being in a cave and stuck. Because the thing is, you know, if you can't move, if you if you can't manage to wiggle yourself out, like, Easy boy. there's Easy really boy. nothing you can do. I mean, you're, you're essentially Better stuck now. there, and it could be days before they're able to get you out. Like, I mean, people will give you food and water and stuff, but, you know, it's not exactly like you can send a fireman to dive, you know, three, like four, five hundred feet down into this cave and, like, prawl you out. It's a natural structure. So, anyway, long story short, being stuck in a cave is an absolutely terrifying experience. Buried something nearby. Let's find it, buddy. Uh... Alright, so there's a rock that was pushed over, and then a rock wall that has some drawings on it. it looks the same, but older. A lot older. Oh, this doesn't make any sense. Right here. He would 
have buried it right here. The place. What'd you find? The Tappy East Creek Timber Company. Holy. I've seen this logo before. That's where landing was going. It's worth a shot. Maybe we'll finally get some answers. Heal! Take a good long whiff bullet. It's important. Attaboy. this Another dog tag Another one This is... No, you're not real. We got fire up ahead. Hey, buddy, what's wrong? Position. What are these things? Buzz saws? Leaf monsters? It's a little weird. The whole uh, leaf monsters, <clears throat> or whatever. I don't. I don't know what they are. hitting me. Ah. 
Oh, it's those things. It's not even dark out. Back in whatever war he was in. Um, all right, we're gonna we're gonna take a little break here. Uh, I am gonna continue recording, but this seems like a good spot to to wrap up this episode. So anyway, stay tuned. I will have another part coming to you guys later today. I will see you all then.